Hello everyone, welcome to Debbie's Fitness. Today we are going to do a typical day. So let's get ready and sit with your back straight, feet flat on the floor. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale. Arms out at your side and let's stretch our neck. Look up to the ceiling. Slowly look down to the floor. All the way up. And down to the floor. Tuck your chin and hold. Back up to neutral, look to one side. Always do slow neck movements to get warmed up. Listen to your body and go back to the other side. Only do what's comfortable for you. And back to the middle. Let's tilt your head to one side. Imagine your ear touching your shoulder. Opposite arm is out. Bring your palm up and down. Bring your arm back down, head to neutral and tilt to the other side. Arm is out, palm up, down. Up again and down. Come back to neutral. Tilt your head again. Opposite arm up. Tuck in your chin to your chest. Feel that stretch in the back of your neck. Come back up and tilt to the other side. Arm up and tuck your chin into your neck. Hold it for a second, come up, back up to neutral and shoulder rolls back. Make sure you're sitting up straight. Both shoulders up and down, reach to the floor. Up and down, reach gently, wiggle your fingers, and shake them out. Bring your hands out in front, open and close. Stretch your fingers, make a fist and squeeze, open and close. This is great for arthritis. It reduces the stiffness. And wrist circles. Open your hands and circles the other way. Arms down at your side. Let's take a deep breath in. Slowly inhale. Use your stomach to inhale. Exhale slow. Feel how calm your nervous system is as you take a deep breath in. And exhale slowly. Try to exhale all the air. More air exhaling than you're inhaling. And we're going to do our sun. So arms out at the side. The sun is rising. Let's do sun up, all the way up over your head. Push down to the side. Imagine that big sun rising. It's a brand new day. And down. Inhale up, slowly inhale. And exhale. All right, so the sun is rising. We're gonna get out of bed. 
First thing we're gonna do is put our pants on. So we're gonna do a forward fold, hinge at the hips, straight back, hands on your knees, gently move forward with your chin up, and come back up slowly. Down again, if you can reach further, hands at your shins or at the floor and pull your pants all the way up slowly. Forward fold again, knees, if that's what's comfortable for you, shins or touching the floor, pull your pants up and let's take a deep breath in. Exhale. Let's put our shirt on, arms out at the side for sun. Inhale up, down in the middle, grab your shirt and put it over your head. Arms down to the side, up for sun, down to pull your shirt over your head and relax. One more time, up. Down in the middle, pull your shirt over your head and down. All right, let's wiggle those feet and get all of our toes getting warmed up for the day. Bring one foot out, point and flex. Point and flex. Push your heel when you flex. Point and flex. Let's switch sides. Other leg, point with your foot and flex. Wake up those feet, point and flex. Bring your leg down, sit up straight and bring both legs out. Ankle circles, wake up your ankles. It's a brand new day and reverse direction and relax. So now that we're out of bed, we're gonna walk to the kitchen. So we're walking, legs up. You don't have to go up far with your knees, just do what's comfortable for you. Get your legs moving, circulation going. We're walking to the kitchen and relax. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna make some coffee or tea. I love tea, I love herbal teas. And there's a lot of coffee drinkers, more coffee drinkers than tea drinkers in the world, I think. And uh, I like coffee ice cream, so, but I drink tea. Let's uh, get our coffee, hold on to the mug and bring your arm up. We're working our elbows and wrists, drinking the coffee or the tea. Hold your arm up and bring your cup to your mouth. Of course, we usually don't use our non-dominant side, but since we're doing yoga, hold your coffee or tea in the other hand and bring it to your mouth. Working our elbow and wrist. Drinking our coffee first thing in the morning. I love to eat breakfast. It's one of my favorite meals. Healthy breakfast to start the day. And I love fruit, so we're gonna pick fruit. Apples are a good thing to pick, so let's pick apples. Arms out at the side, reach for the apple, pick it. Bring it out and put it on the table. Reach up, pick, make a fist, put it out and drop it on the table. Again, reach, pick, out and put it on the table. Other hand, reach for your apple, pick, out, put it on the table. Reach, reach up to the sky, pick, out, drop it on the table. Okay, we can put our apples with pancakes. 
So we're gonna stir the pancake mix. Even though we have a small bowl, we're gonna pretend we have a really big bowl. We're gonna hold on to the spoon, sitting up straight. We're gonna go in circles to mix the pancake mix. We have a really big bowl. And circle, move your waist slightly, small twist, breathing gently, and come back to the middle. We're gonna go twist to the other side, stir your pancake mix the other direction, and stirring, small twist with your waist, and last circle, arms to the side, up, we're going to flip the pancakes, shoulders down and relaxed, feet flat on the floor, palms up and down. Flipping your pancakes up and down. Up, down, palms up and down. Arms to the side. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale. Breakfast is ready, so we're going to walk outside and eat our breakfast out on the patio. So let's walk and see if it's sunny outside of course it's always sunny let's put our goggles on our sun shades and twist to the right and to the left we're looking at all the pretty birds in the backyard holding your back your spine is straight Twist and twist again, slowly come back to the middle, arms up to the sun and hands down on your knees for a forward fold, chin up, come all the way up, arms out to the side, let's look at the sun, arms up. Beautiful sunny day and down. All right, so we're outside eating breakfast and the dog is with us. My dog is Bella. Of course, Bella is always with me. So I'm going to put my arms out to the side and reach down and pet Bella. So we're gonna reach with your shoulder down, wiggle your fingers up, and she moved to the other side. Reach down, wiggle your fingers to pet the dog. And up. Reach again, pet the dog. Up. Other side. Wiggle your fingers and come up. So since we're talking about dogs, we're gonna do upward dog, but we're doing seated upward dog. Arms out at the side. You're gonna lift your heels up, sitting up straight and look up, chest is out, inhale. And exhale, heels down, come back to neutral position. Up, heels up, look up. Inhale and exhale. Arms in front, forward, slowly hinge at the hips and come back to neutral position and forward. Come back to neutral and arms relax. Okay, Bella wants to go for a walk. We do that every morning. So let's walk. We're gonna go for a walk in the neighborhood. Get some fresh air. Our tummy is full. The dog needs exercise. Raising your knees as far as you want to go. Listen to your body. Keep walking, breathing gently. 
and let's stop. We see one of our neighbors. We're going to talk to our neighbors. And as we're talking, we want to keep moving. So we're going to move our knees as we're standing there, talking to the neighbor. Have your feet move with your knees. Don't keep them planted on the floor. And wipers with your knees. We're just moving while we're standing in place, talking to the neighbor. And keep switching. Let's stop and walk home. We've got Bella. Your dog is right by your side. It's a beautiful sunny day. And we're finally home. So let's put your hand on the doorknob. Sit up straight and twist your wrist. Twist, open that door. One more time and switch to the other side. Grab hold of the doorknob and twist. One more time and let's walk to the kitchen. Get some water. It's so sunny out and warm. We need to get some water. Arms out at your side. Grab the bottle of water and move your arm up and down. Bring it to your mouth and down. Drink a lot of water. Staying hydrated is so important for our blood, oxygen levels, circulation, keeping the body hydrated all the time. Very important. And let's switch. Grab your water bottle with the other hand. Bend your elbow. One more time and relax, good. All right, let's take a deep breath in through your stomach. Inhale slowly. Exhale. Another deep breath in. Exhale. Okay, for all the men, I know you need to shave every day. Women, we have to put on our makeup. So we're gonna bring our arms out, one arm to your face, and women, get your brush and use your makeup brush all on your face. Men, you're holding your shaver and shaving your face. Hold the other arm out straight, move your wrists, and relax. Guess what? We have to do the other side. We have to make it even. Both arms out. Grab your makeup brush or shaver. Move your arm and hand. Imagine shaving, makeup, getting ready for the day. And arms out and hold. and relax. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, good. We're almost ready for the day. So let's walk to the kitchen and look at our chores. We have to do our daily chores before we can have some fun. And first thing on the list is dusting. Let's grab the rag and we're going to dust with the rag on the table, switch arms, spread, and spread that rag on the table, get all that dust, keep switching, small twist with your waist, and I think our dusting is done. It's time to vacuum. So let's get our vacuum. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it in one hand, hold the handle and go forward and back. Forward and back, look at those lines on the carpet, everything's getting clean. Forward and back, let's switch to the other side. Push that vacuum, forward and back. 
Good. Okay, it's time to wash clothes. There's three cycles in the washing machine. The first one is the gentle cycle. So we're gonna put your hands up like this in I Dream of Jeannie. Small twist to the side and come back to the middle. Twist to the other side. This is our gentle cycle. Other side, middle, side, back to the middle. Okay, we're gonna go on the next cycle of our dishwasher, or washing our clothes, and twist. Try to have your fingers on top of each other. This is our medium washing cycle for our clothes. And back to the middle, and relax your arms down. The clothes are soaking and we're almost ready for the spin cycle, the high cycle. Sitting up straight, arms out to the side. Only go as far as what's comfortable for you. And twist. And back to the middle. Twist. To the middle. And twist. Out again, twist, back to the middle and hold. Arms down, let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, our clothes are done. Hold on to the clothes in the basket. Arms, elbows to your side, touching your side, palms up. Arms out, all the way up, over your head, or as high as you want to go, and down again to the middle. Hold all those folded clothes, don't drop them. Arms out to the side, and all the way up, and down. Back to the middle, arms down to the side and relax. Shoulder rolls back. All right, we have to mop a little bit. That's not a fun thing to do. So the quicker we do it, the sooner we can have some fun. So we're gonna do a fold, forward fold to make sure our bucket has soap in it. Feet flat on the floor, hands on your knees and Fold, chin up, look down at your bucket, see if there's soap in it, come all the way up, and down again, forward fold, look at your bucket, see if there's soap in there, and we're ready to mop, good, okay, grab a hold of your mop, and Go to one side and the other side. Twist gently with your waist, mopping the floor. And we're going to sweep, swoosh our mop back and forth slowly. And other side, getting all that dirt off the floor. And we're almost done. Arms out to the side. Hold. Hold on to your mops, one on each hand. Bring your mops to the middle. And relax. Our mopping is finished. Yay. <laughs> okay. It's no fun to mop. Now we're going to drive to go eat lunch with our friend because they called and said, let's meet for lunch. That's much more fun than mopping. So sitting up straight, put your hands out, grab your steering wheel and turn, turn the steering wheel and hold in the middle. We're gonna look to one side, gently turn your head, 
Look to see if there's any cars. Come back to the middle and look to the other side. It's all clear so we can go. Let's start driving again. Small tilts to each side. And we need to put on the brake, hand and leg out. Come back to the middle, put the brakes on with the other foot and hand. And other side, brake, stop with your hand. Other side, brake, stop with your hand. And we're there, we're ready to eat with our friend. Okay, let's get in the chair. We're gonna do our hip hinge. This helps us get in and out of the chair or the car. Sitting up straight and out again. Let's switch sides, out and back. Okay, we're with our friend and we're ready to order. Let's hold the menu out in front. Sometimes we need our glasses and we can't really see the menu because we have to hold it far away but I'm nearsighted and I can see really close. So we're gonna touch your shoulders, bring that menu in closer and out. Bring it in closer so you can read and see what you want to order. In, out in front, look at that menu and hold. Bring it in again, out, and we're ready to order. Let's have a drink. Hold on to your cup and let's do cheers with your friend and bring it up. Cheers. Other hand, cheers. You've got beer, lemonade, wine, cheers. Okay, so let's talk to our friend. I'm gonna tell a story about when I saw a spider. I saw a spider and then it disappeared and I needed to kick some things out of the way. So we're gonna do a cock soccer kick and out and back, out and back. Kick, kick, kick stuff out of the way to look for that spider, switch legs and switch, kick, soccer kick, out. Feel your knees your quad muscles. Okay, we found the spider after we kicked everything out of the way. And I need to stomp on it and kill that spider. I don't like spiders in the house. So grab one leg and stomp. Stomp to the ground. This is great for neuropathy. Stomp to the ground and stomp. Great for your circulation and killing spiders. And let's switch. Other leg up, down on the ground. Doesn't matter if you bring your leg up high or low. We want that foot flat on the floor to stimulate all your capillaries on the bottom of your feet and improve your circulation and kill the spider. Okay, we killed the spider. We're done talking to our friend. We're gonna drive home, get the steering wheel. We're driving again. And let's get home. We do have a little bit of energy from the carbs that we ate at lunch. So I think we're gonna take a bike ride. Let's hold on to the seat and legs out and bicycle. Little bicycle ride in the neighborhood, enjoying the fresh air and sunshine. Maybe 15 minute bike ride. And let's come back in the house. It was a great day already. And it's time for dinner. So we're going to inhale our food. Inhale tacos, exhale stress. That's a yoga phrase. <laughs> and so let's inhale our tacos. Exhale, stress. Inhale slowly. 
exhale. Okay, it's almost time for bed, but first I think we're gonna watch a movie. We're gonna sit up straight on the couch and watch a movie. And as we're sitting, we remember that Debbie said one of the good exercises to do while you're watching TV is tiptoe. So lift up your heels and down. Because when you're sitting, this is great for circulation. So we're doing our tiptoe exercises like Debbie said. And another great thing to do before bed is yoga. So we're gonna do a little bit of yoga before we go to bed to help us relax. So we're gonna bring one leg out and stretch, the other arm up, stretch, and come back to the middle. Other leg out and stretch the opposite arm. Come back to the middle and forward fold, hands on your knees, hinge at the hips. Keep your chin up and come up slowly. A great exercise to do before you go to sleep is cat-cow. It helps your spine and relaxation with your nervous system. We're gonna curl your forward, your shoulders forward and tuck your chin, inhale, straighten out your back, shoulders down and relax, look up and down again for cat. All the way up for cow. Again, inhale, cat, round your shoulders and back. Exhale, all the way up. And come back to neutral. Sitting up straight, look to one side slowly. And to the other. Now we are relaxed and ready for bed. Come back to the middle. Hands on your knees, palms up. Be grateful and thankful for this day. It was a fun day of cycling, walking the dog, eating lunch with our friend, watching a movie, and doing a little yoga for relaxation before bedtime. Every day is a gift. It doesn't matter what you do during the day. Every day is a gift. Live in the present and be thankful for every day. Don't worry about the future. Count your blessings. Let's open your arms out and bring them in for a big hug and squeeze and smile. Hands together for namaste at the count of three. One, two, three. Namaste. Thank you for doing a typical day yoga class with Debbie's Fitness. Enjoy the rest of your day.